Can you tell us about how your antibody drug aims to help with the virus? And given what we've heard about the president over the weekend, do you think it's working? Yes, well, thanks, uh, Meg, Joe, for having me on. And before I start, let me say that how proud Team Regeneron and uh, all of our employees are to have worked so hard to get to a point where we can help the president and hopefully many other people. And that hard work was done right in the epicenter uh, of the pandemic in the early going uh, where our main headquarters are in New York. Um, look, uh, we think that this is nothing um, particularly uh, earth shattering in its perspective. That is, we're just trying to imitate and help an individual, um, help their immune system win this battle, win this race, against this virus. Um, and what happens normally is it is a race. That virus gets going, starts uh, replicating, lots of viruses floating around, and the immune system tries to get in there and knock it down. Um, and by the way, that's what vaccines are supposed to do. They're supposed to give the immune system a head start in that race. Well, we don't have vaccines yet. I hope we will. Uh, and early on in the course of this disease, the virus can get ahead of the immune system. Uh, and we think that giving that antibody makes a lot of sense because it's just doing what the immune system is supposed to do, but hasn't quite done yet. Uh, and that's uh, what we hope happened with the president. You ask me, did we help him? I'd like to think so. It's impossible to know with one patient, but the evidence we have from hundreds of patients thus far is that if you give this drug early in the disease, uh, course of the disease, uh, particularly in people who might have a high virus, or maybe uh, they don't have enough, enough an immune response or the appropriate immune response, you can really help them clear that virus. And this disease is really all about the virus. If you look at hospitalized patients, they have a lot of virus, they have a bad outcome or they're at risk for a bad outcome. If, if you knock that virus down naturally, or we hope with our antibodies, we hope to change that. Well, Dr. Schleifer, I mean, if you can walk us through what the last few days, the last week has really been like for you. I mean, to our knowledge, this is something that's never happened in, in history, that a president would receive uh, an experimental drug just three days after we saw the first results on it. What was it like to get that call? Were you hesitant at all? Did it wake you up? What, what can you tell us? Yeah, I'd like to say it was just another day at the office, uh, and it wasn't. We have done this before. He's not the first person to get the drug on, under this so-called compassionate use. A lot of people have said, why would you do it? It's so risky. you got to protect the company. What if things go bad? You know, as a physician and, and, and as leaders of healthcare company, we don't view that as our job to protect ourselves. Our job is to protect patients and the patients we serve. Uh, and when we got the call, um, the White House uh, physician and staff seemed pretty informed uh, they obviously had role-played scenarios, what might happen if uh, somebody need, uh, got sick and needed treatment. Um, they asked if we would uh, be involved. We told them if the FDA was on board, uh, we would be pleased to try and help, and we thought it made sense. And what was that process like? Can you help us understand the timeline for when you got the call and then the FDA gave the green light to, to administer this? Yeah, I'd like to get into the details, but you know, one of the things about protecting patients is we protect their privacy. Um, I'm really not at liberty to talk about the details of the president's case. That's a, that's something that information is owned by the president and his medical team. I'm sure they'll be happy to tell you about it. Our role was to provide information, to provide understanding. Um, I've spoken with their physicians. George Ancopoulos has spoken with them. They have a team of experts. Um, we're available. Uh, and when they wanted the product, we made it available. Uh, and we're glad to see he's doing so well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.